Hi, today we are introducing the LG GW520, a cell phone that has been advertised for its Facebook capabilities and awesome QWERTY keyboard that complements them. Its overall design is not mind-blowing by any means, and the only interesting thing that lends some color are the orange elements on the keyboard and either side of the handset. The rest of the phone sports a rubber-like finish that contributes to a better feel. The 2.8-inch WQVGA display takes up the best part of the face of the GW520. The screen has good sensitivity and delivers vivid colors, although they get washed really fast when you're exposed to direct sunlight, so reading things on the screen becomes an uphill battle. The send and the end keys are located below the display and along with a button that takes you to your favorite applications or calls up the task manager. We do not have any grips about them, but it would have been better if the keys on either side of the device were more protruding. The full QWERTY keyboard of the LG GW520 is one of its key features. It sports four rows of orange buttons that are really handy and we got used to the error-free typing right away. Moreover, their white backlighting makes them fairly easy to find even in utter darkness. As a whole, we are pleasantly surprised at the build quality of the handset. It feels sturdy and solid, and its slider is neither wobbly nor loose. You're in for quite a disappointment if you expect to see the S-Class 3D or some novelties in the interface of the LG GW520. It is almost identical to the version on the LG Cookie and consists of two pages. The first one hosts the well-known widgets that can be rearranged to your liking. The second one, that hosts your favorite contacts on the LG Cookie, is dedicated to the so-called Live Square with the GW520. This is something like a register of all incoming calls and received messages grouped by contacts, so you can see how many missed calls and unread messages you have and who sent them, so you can focus on coming back to certain people. Your contacts are visualized as small human or animal figures. This looks nice and lends some color to the overall look. The phone's Facebook app has its own dedicated widget that's only a shortcut to the app itself. It allows access to the basic set of functions Facebook offers. You will be able to change your online status, go over post feeds, see the pictures of your buddies, leave comments, browse albums, rate images and others. Unfortunately, you don't have the option to see who's online and start a chat session. We're even less pleased with the fact that you just can't upload pictures directly from within the app so you would have to do this by sending emails to your profile. The Java-based push email app comes with automated settings for popular service providers like Hotmail, Gmail, Yahoo and AOL, but you have the option to enter all relevant settings manually if you feel like it. We do like the fact that the GW520 manages to find and properly set up email accounts with providers that are not among the aforementioned four, and all you need to do is just enter your username and password. Notifications of incoming mail messages don't arrive instantaneously, as they do on the BlackBerry devices. There is a delay of 2 to 5 minutes, and you will have to keep the app switched on all the time, but thankfully, it can run in the background. Unfortunately, this doesn't feature minimized soft keys and doesn't start automatically when you power on your phone, so you will have to hide it via the multitasking button. All told, we are disappointed by the app, because it doesn't seem up to its task. The LG GW520 sports a 3 megapixel camera without autofocus and flash that does what it's supposed to do, just don't expect miracles. Images taken outdoors are noisy, with average details and colors tend to be unrealistically reproduced at times, while macro pictures are somewhat blurry. Things get much worse in artificial lighting conditions. You can capture videos and they're of decent quality, but it's just too bad. You're limited to 240 by 400 pixels at only 15 frames per second, and therefore the camcorder is not of much use. The GW520 features a music player with standard filtering options and pleasing interface. The sound quality through the built-in loudspeaker is good, and it does pack some punch. This comes in pretty handy when you watch videos as well, but unfortunately you're limited to 240 by 400 pixel resolution and H.263 and MPEG-4 coded content. The LG GW520 doesn't have problems playing videos in either format, but you better stick to MPEG-4, because image quality is better. Of course, how the GW520 fares as a phone is far more important. 
We didn't have any problems to carry conversations properly, although sound was a bit dull and surreal, while people on the other end complained that sound was not loud enough for them when we switched on the loudspeaker. As a whole, the LG GW520 is a really good phone that features fast internet connectivity, comfy quality keyboard and won't give you a headache no matter what you decide to use it for. Frankly, there aren't many cell phones in this price category that come with both touch-sensitive screen and full quality keyboard.